Hi, this is Nancy Reynolds, and I want to welcome you to our World Card Making Day event. This is my card. This is a WV fold. I'm using the Hello Harvest suite, and I just love this card. We've got the W and the V comes together, and what I thought I wanted to do was to have a picture run across this whole entire card. And it's our designer series paper, The Rustic Harvest, and it is lovely. Now, first I'm going to tell you what I did with the card. Um, I made it, I started the video earlier. I made a cutting mistake. So some of ours is glued down. But I'm going to let you know that the card is five and a half inches by 11 inches or 14.9 by 29.7. And what I've done is I've scored it at one and three quarter inches, three and a half inches, five and a quarter inches, seven inches, 4.8 centimeters, 9.6 centimeters, 14.4 centimeters, and 19.2 centimeters. So here we are. We have this all laid out, and I've started putting our designer series paper. I have four designer series paper cut. And let's see, I wanted to show you this. This is half of the designer series paper sheet. So I just made sure this was five and a quarter inches and then cut my pieces off of it to have the pattern carry across the card. I love that look. It made me happy. So I have the first two pieces on. I had thought about pulling this off so I could start from the beginning with you and realized that I really just needed to pick up where I had made the mistake. So here we are with the third piece. that on. I'm really not ready for fall, but there's something about this set with all of the colors that have truly inspired me. Here we are. So we have our W decorated. This, this folds like this. And here is our three and three quarter by five and a quarter or 9.5 centimeters by 14.4 centimeters piece. And it'll go right here. Use a little Tombow because it's always good to have a little wiggle room. Let's see, I think that looks about right. And there's our picture running across the card. And the big card is almost done. So we're going to start stamping and coloring. So the first, you're going to need two pieces of basic white, two and three quarter inches square. So two and three quarter by two and three quarter inches or 6.5 centimeters by 6.5 centimeters. And you need two because one will go on this little, the front and one will go on back of our V card. And our V card is Mossy Meadow again because that's the color that coordinates. And this is 3 inches by 6 inches or 7.6 centimeters by 15.2 centimeters scored in half, which means it's at 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters. So again, we've got a 3 by 3 square. But we're not just going to let this go on and be bored. No, we have to do a little decorating. I have one piece that I ran through um, my dye machine, Santa Cut and Emboss, the stitched greenery dye. And I thought that would be pretty. We're going to go ahead and adhere this one. And when I'm doing the basic white, the regular weight, I like to use my stamp and seal because then I know there's going to be no glue lines that show. 
So here we are. It goes on any way you like it to go on. Okay, there we are. And on this, we're going to put the flowers in the set. Now I've already done the dark green leaves, but I thought I would just color one of the flowers. And I'm using the Cajun Craze Dark and you'll notice there's lines. There's a thick line, that's the brush tip. The thin line is the pen tip. And I am using that because this is not a real big area and I don't want to get carried away and make go out of the lines. So I am just shading the area that's already shaded. And to me, this just looks like it's just little dots in here. So our shading is done. Well, maybe we'll do two. That'll give that just a moment to dry. Alcohol markers dry very quickly. I'm going to come in with the light blends. And I am just going to start, again, with that pen tip end, or this thin line, so I have more control. I am just going to finish going over the leaves. The colors will blend in as they dry. That's why they're called blends. They're alcohol markers. And I stamped it with memento ink because memento ink is the ink we use when we do with alcohol. If you're going to do water coloring, you'd want to use Stazon ink. So here we are. Almost got this one done. And then we'll do the same with this cute little one here. And I colored these bigger flowers with Cajun Craze. I did Mossy Meadow for the bigger leaves, Pear Pizzazz for the smaller, no, Mossy Meadow Dark for the larger leaves, Mossy Meadow Light and the lighter leaves, I use so saffron for the little flowers. And then I thought to be fun, these little puppy ones, they looked like they needed Twink of Stella. So they're just colored in to be sparkly. So there we are. That's how I colored. And I will tell you that I have one here all colored and ready to go. So I took and I put these on with dimensionals, which truly should be handy because I just used them a minute ago on another project. Here we are. I don't think it needs a huge amount of dimension, but it does need some. Okay, take the backings off. Obviously my nails are just not as helpful tonight as usual. There we are. Put the backings in the garbage can, otherwise they are all over the house. Now, here is my little piece that went through with the die. I'm just going to put this on. We've got a pretty here. The other side. Hmm. I think I'm going to change my mind and use some Tombow, even though I don't normally, because it's got a little more texture and it didn't seem to be on as well as I would have liked it. So we'll take it off, use some Tombow, make sure we get it well adhered. because pieces falling off is not a good thing. There we are. That is going to stay as soon as it's dry. For the front, I thought it would be nice to make, yep, this is the other one, our own kind of designer series paper. So I got, brought out my crushed curry ink 
and my cherry cobbler. Hmm. I do not see a cute little flower. Here it is. Didn't make it on to, here's my cute little flower. And here's the Hello Harvest set. Very pretty. A very pretty set. I am going to randomly stamp some flowers. Stamp off a couple. And then I'm going to get my chamois. Oh, wrong chamois. That's the one that's dry. This is the one that's wet. Wash off my stamp and go ahead with the Cajun craze. Hmm. Now that's a little blobby. I don't like that. We're going to turn this over because I have noticed that my, I think my Cajun Craze ink pad is ready to be either retired or cleaned really well and re-inked. It's got, it's got spots. But I could be careful. Some Cajun craze down. And although it's going to be covered up, we'll just do another one there. And there. Now I'll wash the Cajun craze off because it would not be good to get that into our yellow ink. That would not be a good thing. I know these chamois look horrible, but you just, they stain. You just rinse them underwater, and they're wonderful. And I am really doing more than's necessary because I am going to put a sentiment on here. Okay, set that aside. My sentiment is going to be in mossy metal on basic white. We'll be coming back, I think, to those in a minute, but let's get the mossy metal out. Maybe we should put this on. What an idea. Let's just go ahead, put a little Tombow on. This goes on the front. Maybe this way. Or maybe this way. Decide which way you want it to face. Because I don't think there's a right or a wrong with this one. Here we are. And here's a piece of basic white. We'll get some mossy metal, the hello stamp, ink it up. Just gonna stamp that off. Yep. Now I'm gonna kind of put this not quite in the middle, but because I'm gonna pop in with a punch to punch it out. So there is our sentiment for the front. I'm going to use the postage stamp punch. It's actually called the rectangle postage stamp. It's very cute. It is a little bit long. 
Let's just take a piece off. Just kind of. There we are, and it is now ready to go on the, the card. And I also did this one with dimensionals. So let me, I really think two is enough. Part of me wants to put four on it or five, but I don't think we really need to use that many. So here's our hello. See, I'm a little bit off, not quite as centered as I could be, but I think that's okay. We're going to glue with Tombow onto our card. And I'm just going to do a little row right here. Hold it together, and it is going to go right here. And remember, Tombow gives you just a little bit of wiggle room. So if I wanted to pull it out a little bit, I could. But I think that's good. I'm going to give it a little pressure, because I do want it to adhere before I start on the inside. The inside is going to, the last sentiment, I've got a mossy meadow square, and this is two and a half inches by two and a half inches, or 6.5 by 6.5 centimeters. And the sentiment is going on, so it's just a little smaller than this one. This is two and a half inches by two and a half inches, or six by six centimeters. And the reason I did it this way is I want to put it in at the diagonal. See? Just for interest. Okay. We are on. We're stuck. And now we can start on the inside. So I wish to do this. I'm going to line those up on my grid paper. So I've got the diagonal. I believe I used, yes, I did use Mossy Meadow. This is kind of a large sentiment, but I really like it. And to be honest, if I were going, when, it, when I go to mail this, I'll probably put a piece of basic white on the back, cover my little stamp up, and um, so I'll have more room to write. Unless, of course, I'm not in a writing mood, and then I'll just write in that little tiny space there. I'm going to make sure this is... Yeah, that's fine. And I may just tap, tap, tap this way so I can see it better, because it's a fairly large stamp. Okay, back on our line. And I want this to go like this. There we are. Wishing you the loveliest day. I will put this away. We're going to grab our little flower again and put just a little bit of decoration on the um, top of this. I think I did, yeah, just, just a couple, three little ones, partial ones. There's one, and I think I'll just do two partial of the yellow. Pushing this up. Put 
one right here and one partial right here and maybe a little more yellow here and just a touch here. Okay, we have our we are going to close these because you know what? I will make a mess. This goes on our mossy meadow piece. Oh goodness, I did cut it too big and now I've got glue on it. So I need to wipe that off. This won't be the best way to wipe it off. I am going to bring in a little trimmer and this should have been two and a quarter. So Let's see if we can take, hmm, well, we're going to have a very narrow, narrow margin because I can't take a quarter inch, but I could maybe take, maybe I can take an eighth of an inch off this side. That's an eighth. And this is what happens when you mess up. There's always ways to fix it. It's never horrible. And this, if I take just an eighth off this side. There. It got the tip of my banner, but that's all right. And then we'll try again. A little glue, a narrow margin, and a sentiment in the middle. I think I will try and line this up so I can eyeball it. And this one is going down flat. Hopefully that is not the diagonal. And here's our card, our UV card. That was pretty quick and easy. Um, it does need just a little something. So I'm thinking that maybe some centers it does spread the ink around a little bit because that is just the nature of this, but I think the centers look okay with a little ink spread around them. And yes, I should have done this before I put it down. Just tapping lightly and then I make sure that there's no pink or Cajun craze on this because now I want to do the yellow. There. Now we have a little sparkle on our card. There. And then the Cajun craze. We have now got our card done. We have a pretty card inside and out. But we need an envelope. We can't have, we can't go around with naked envelopes. So as you'll see, I, all I did was I took the pumpkin stamp and Cajun craze, and I stamped it down. Knowing that my Cajun craze stamp needs 
bit of a cleaning. So here we are. Let's give it a moment. There it is. We have a pumpkin. And pumpkins have tendrils. I don't know if that is the official, I know it's a vine that curls, but I'm calling them tendrils. So we'll give our pumpkin We'll use this one. Mossy Meadow, we'll give one here. And one on the other side. And there's our pumpkin. So we have a decorated envelope. We have a lovely card. And I hope, despite my little mistakes, that you've enjoyed the presentation and that you will make a WV card using your favorite designer series paper because it's just fun. Until I see you again, I want to say happy crafting and goodbye.